summer heat is coming back. I know. It's it, the humidity too, right with it. A little bit, yeah, it's like a preview. And what I found myself saying today was like, okay, well, at least it's not 95 or I was so 85. So yeah, true. we're in for it eventually. I know, we know it's coming. So yeah, even these middle 80s and actually for much of the work week, we will be in the upper 80s and even close to 90. But as we know, the South uh, Louisiana summer situation here can take us well above 90 degrees. And then the feels like temperature, of course, with our humidity often well above 100 degrees. So we're not there yet by any means. In fact, what we're talking about is the coastal flooding. I just want to remind you that's going on at least through tomorrow. Now, if you are in one of those areas that's seeing it, you're familiar with it and it will take a while to go down in this case, particularly just because we're not getting any huge shift in our wind direction. Winds are still going to be from the east, although they're slacking off. It's just going to take longer than maybe it would if we had a different weather scenario with a front moving in or another system to push the water back more decisively. But for now, what we're seeing is our winds weakening tonight, so that's good. But still from the east, coastal flooding gradually will be easing and you may already see a bit of improvement in spots that will continue to improve tomorrow. However, as we mentioned earlier, St. James, St. John, places where there is backwater flooding also because of high water coming from the Abeed River Basin, that will take longer, maybe to the early or even middle part of the upcoming week. Sunday tides, by the way, this will be worse at high tides, but I think we're probably already past the highest of the high tides, which happened, of course, a little earlier today. Tomorrow it will be mostly in the afternoon or Grand Isle 9 a.m., but I don't think it will be as high as what we saw today for most spots, especially those that you saw highlighted in that brighter green. Current weather in New Orleans, 74 north of the lake, upper 60s, and tonight we'll say our low temperature is just a little bit below where we are now less windy with those winds from the east, only 5 to 10 miles per hour. And then tomorrow we'll say highs maybe about 87 or 88, so a little warmer than today. Mostly sunny skies and those winds up to about 10 or 12 miles per hour still from the east. But here's your planner. If you're not dealing with coastal flooding issues, then it looks like a pretty nice day tomorrow. Our temperatures just getting a little bit warm, but the evening looking nice in the 70s. It has been so windy because we have these features with the high pretty close to us, the low pretty close to us. And this is that area that we were watching in the Gulf. It did not organize, so it didn't have a chance to do that before it moved over South Texas earlier this morning. Now it's well inland, so happy to report no activity expected in the Gulf at this uh, point in the weekend or in the year. We are more under the influence of the upper high pressure area, and that will be really driving our weather as we get into this week. It will be moving in and sinking, compressing air will be over us, so that will be a stable setup. And you know, sometimes we get the high and we have a lot of moisture in the atmosphere, but sometimes it actually kind of uh, serves to decrease our humidity. So looking at our dew point over the next seven days, it's not going to be terrible about where it was today, uh, maybe a little more humid eventually at times, but it's not surging into that really truly oppressive muggy sort of weather that would be 75 and above for the dew point scale when dew points are around 60s to about 70. You can see that's not too bad, but certainly not that crisp dry fall sort of feel. Now in the tropics, nothing happening in the Gulf, but there is the first subtropical storm, the first named storm of the season, and it's out here. It's Anna, and this is a hybrid storm. Now you need to have everything when you have a fully tropical system uh, kind of working on its own, but this is being supported right now by some upper level low pressure. So when you have that, it's not fully tropical, hence the subtropical hybrid kind of storm. But it did get the first name. Now, a while ago, as of 2002 or before, the National Hurricane Center wouldn't have named this kind of system forming earlier than the season. Uh, they just would have called it a number. So it's kind of interesting that it does get a high um, more names, you know, early in the season, especially these days in the past couple of decades. Point is, though, Anna is going to be uh, Anna is going to be moving out to the northeast, not a threat to land. It's near Bermuda, but moving out and will probably weaken very soon. So. Really not that much to talk about with Anna, aside from we already have our first A storm. The next name on the list is Bill. Here's our seven day forecast again, getting certainly into that more summer like sort of a range for our temperatures. We have not hit 90 degrees at the airport yet this year, but I do think it's coming later this week, so uh, just be prepared for that.